Dear learner, welcome in my lecture of web technology. Today I am discussing the second part of creating a table using JSP example example creating a table database. I am Dr. Ashutosh Bhatt, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and IT, Uttarakhand Open University. So the learning objective of this lecture, implementation of database connectivity, storing data in the database table and fetching data from the database table in JSP. In previous lecture, we have discussed about how to manipulate table data using JSP. Learner also understand to store multiple rows in HTML table using looping statement in JSP. So thank you. Thank you learner. Uh, you will easily learn how to uh, create a table in uh, JSP using database connectivity. So uh, see this uh, slide where how to connect with the database. So it is very important. This is the set of four, four uh, statement, four syntax. So by using these four syntax, four statement, we can connect any table uh, with JSP. So the first line, uh, this is the JSP code uh, written inside less than percentage and percentage greater than. And uh, the first line is class dot for name son dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver. So you have to write this line. So this will load the software driver that can talk to the database. So we are loading jdbc odbc driver we are loading here. So it is under because we have to write the complete path because it's uh, it's the vendor is Sun Microsystem. So it is Sun dot JDBC, JDBC is a package, ODBC is a package. So inside JDBC, ODBC package, we have JDBC, ODBC driver. So we are we are loading this JDBC, ODBC driver by this line. Now in second line, connection C O N equals to null. So initially we are writing here a object, we are creating here object of connection class. So initially it is null. Uh, now in third line connection equals to driver manager dot get connection. So the connection uh, this is already it is null. Uh, now we are we are giving here connection string to this one so that connection will be established. So connection equals to driver manager dot get connection driver manager in first line we have already loaded the driver. So driver manager class is there. So we will write driver manager dot get connection. We will acquire the connection and JDBC dot ODBC dot. So this is the data source name DSN it is called. So we have to already uh, create, we have to create it already. And this Frank is a database DSN name. So uh, uh, you can understand it very easily uh, because how to create the DSN. So uh, uh, this DSN uh, need to be created before this one. So uh, uh, this is DSN. So by this line, we uh, uh, we can directly connect it with the uh, database. And in the fourth line, out dot println database connected message will be displayed. If not connected, uh, if uh, if not connected, then this line will not displayed. This output will not will not uh, flashed on our screen. Now see this this uh, again the same statement are also repeated connection con equals to connection dot uh, create statement also we can write so suppose uh, uh, we have to uh, this is the this is only for connection creation now uh, uh, after creation of the connection we we have to we have to run the uh, the queries so here string s equals to insert into manager values Charlie's. So suppose uh, in our database only we have one field. So we will write here insert into manager. Manager is a database name. Uh, sorry, a table name and values. Values we are giving here only one values because uh, 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 maybe it has only one field. So uh, this way we are uh, inserting the value in the. Suppose we we have a table with multiple multiple field. So we will write here multiple values also inside this uh, insert into manager values inside the bracket after inserting after writing this statement we will execute it so statement dot execute update in case of select statement we will write statement stm dot execute query but in case of insert command or modify command we will write execute update so stm dot execute update is written here and s is the uh, s is a string 
so uh, inside s we have this query so when we will write execute update so it will execute the s means query which is written in, written inside the s so uh, this way we can insert the value inside the table from jsp so data is is in jsp and directly we are sending this data from jsp to uh, this uh, this uh, sql and uh, the data may be in form of uh, may be uh, collected from the text box it may be collected from directly inputted by the the user and uh, finally at the end we will connect we will close the connection and finally we will display the message uh, database is closed out dot println now see the same statement are also here class dot for name it is a first statement class dot for name you can see here class dot for name and inside for name you will write the driver name so driver may be different driver of oracle may be different driver of sql may be different so uh, accordingly we will write the direct driver class dot for name driver manager dot get connection and then connection equals to driver manager dot get connection then we will write the statement connection dot create statement and uh, finally s equals to this statement uh, insert command and we will execute the command execute by execute update so uh, so this is the statement here again statement stm equals to con dot create statement and we have written here select query select asterisk from manager so this is the select query and uh, this query when this query will execute it will fetch the multiple data so this multiple data is fetched by uh, execute query stm dot execute query so stm is a statement which is initially blank by this uh, statement stm equals to con dot create statement we have created the statement but initially it is blank so stm dot execute query this statement will executed by execute query command and uh, the argument of this execute query that is s s is a s means uh, already in uh, s we have select asterisk from manager so from manager where we have inserted the value so all, all the values will be fetched and this these values will be stored on the result set r now inside the r may be the tabular data a result set is a vector type uh, class so uh, the data which is fetched uh, from this by this execute query so all the data tabular data inside the result set so maybe different multiple tables are there so we need we need uh, we need a for loop by using this for loop we can we can access one by one so you can see here result set r equals to statement dot execute query s so s inside s we have written the query select asterisk from manager so uh, the data fetched in r from r we will display one by one all the data so you can see here while loop while r r r dot next so uh, when the value all the value will be um, uh, fetched uh, at last it will display uh, the uh, false value then loop will be uh, disconnected uh, but when value inside the r then loop will run so the first line out dot print the first value name r dot get string name so the name value is suppose inside the inside uh, this table we have two field name and age so uh, we have to write here the field name name r dot get string uh, name so the value of name will be uh, displayed here and r dot get string age so value of age will be displayed here so two values will be displayed by these two out dot print print and print align command so this way we can fetch the value from r and uh, r is a output of r uh, is a output of this execute query when we will run this execute query uh, query is inside s so when we will run this execute query so it will fetch all the data in r and one by one we will uh, access these data from um, uh, this while loop so again uh, the same while loop is here same statements are here so this is the table you can see uh, in the top left so in this table we have two field name and age so these two values we can uh, access one by one in the previous one but uh, suppose we have to access only one value uh, suppose only name we are uh, circled in red color so suppose we are accessing the name then we will write r dot get string 
the age is an integer so in that case we will write uh, r dot age is also uh, accessed by get string because all the value is accessed through get string not get integer uh, and suppose we have to process it then then how uh, then we will convert it into integer so here r dot you can see here r dot uh, only one value we are accessing here so uh, that is r dot get string get string name only name we are accessing here in the previous example we are accessing name and age both so here we are accessing only name so we can access both value we can access only one value so uh, this is also the example same example so finally uh, we can say this is the complete program finally we can say this uh, gsp is very useful for the database connectivity for uh, uh, storing the data in the database as well as fetching the data from the database so this last uh, at last you can see this complete program uh, so the in previous slide we have we have explained you the uh, the thing one by one in different different pieces but the completely you can see uh, in one program so th this is the program so first of all we have to write page import java.sql.star so this is important when we will start database connectivity so this uh, uh, java.sql package we have to import then table will start table the first table first row uh, first row that is heading row so we will display title author and isbn so these are three headings title author and isbn so we have mentioned their width also th width 50% th width 25% th width 25% again so these three heading will be displayed now now the jsp will statement will start try block will start and by class dot for name we will load the driver uh, here we are loading the oracle driver oracle dot jdbc dot uh, jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver and uh, in second line connection con equals to driver manager dot get connection so here we will writing uh, we are writing the connection string that is jdbc colon oracle colon thin is a dsn name and at the rate local host means same computer is the server also so uh, so we are writing here local host otherwise some different computer is server then the path will be written here in case of in place of local host and pandra ekis is the port name so uh, system and manager system and uh, ask it to is the system is a username and ask it to is the password by default system and manager uh, scott tiger are the username and password so maybe here scott tiger or maybe here system manager so whatever the username and password we will write here now see in third line statement stmt equals to con dot create statement so here we are uh, creating a blank statement then string sql equals to select asterisk from book data so this is the book data table so where we are fetching all the data so we will write here result set rs equals to statement dot execute query uh, this sql uh, which is a string where we have written the query so this sql query sql uh, string uh, query written inside the sql string select a string from, from book data it will execute by this execute query and all data fetched in the result set rs finally this while loop where we will display all the data while rs dot next and then this um, uh, jsp statement will close tr means table row will start so these three table data uh, of first row of the table will display here by this table uh, percentage equals to rs dot get string title author and isbn in previous uh, slide you can see these three heading title author and isbn accordingly these three value will be accessed and these three value will be displayed by percentage equals to rs dot get string title so title field value of title field of first row will be accessed here and rs dot get string author so uh, the second field author its value will be accessed from the table and third field isbn so its value will be accessed and accordingly will be printed inside this table second row of the table and curly bracket of the while loop will close and finally table will close if there is any error then we have already used this uh, try and catch block so uh, it is also catch block also uh, here and if statement by if statement 
if statement is null then it will already uh, statement will be closed if not then the um, uh, program will run accordingly and catch finally catch suppose the problem in database connectivity or any other problem so um, uh, this ex exception will generate uh, catch exception e uh, whatever the type of exception so it will generate and accordingly out dot print e it will display the message so this is the complete program so thank you learner thank you very much uh, the learning outcome of this lecture learner will able to implement the database connectivity in jsp storing data in the database table and fetching data from the database table in jsp and in next lecture we will discuss about java server pages with jdbc select operation insert operation delete operation so thank you learner thank you very much